Hello everybody and a good afternoon. Um, I am going live now. It is about, what, 3 o'clock? It's about 3 o'clock and I need to prep dinner now because my afternoon is about to get crazy. Um, the kids have activities on Wednesdays. Wednesdays are my cuckoo crazy day. So I usually prepare something that is quick and easy. This is a go-to in my uh, household. Oh, by the way, this is a new angle I'm trying. I don't know, what do you guys think? This is my other counter. I figured maybe a high up, down on the counter look. I don't know. I'd love your opinion to know um, if you like this angle better or the other one that I use. So just let me know, okay? So what I'm gonna make today is the very famous, the very popular, the very amazing 15 minute fajitas. So this is my go-to meal. The kids love it. It's super healthy. It's three ingredients. Um, so I'm just going to show you really quick how to prepare this. Um, right now, I just had one of those huge packs of boneless, skinless chicken breast. And that's my son coughing and dying over here. Um, when you buy it in these big packs from like a big box store, like, you know, um, I bought this at BJ's, $1.69 a pound. The only thing is they're not going to be like cut perfectly, the fat's not going to be all taken off, and that's part of the pain in the neck. So I buy this to save money, and then I'm going to show you how quick and easy using these tools it is to prep it. So here is my closing cut. Many of you have seen me use this, whether it's with cherry tomatoes, and you're just going to go in and you're going to slice them all in half at once, grapes if you got toddlers you don't want them choking you're going to do it on here um bagels so there's a million uses for this but what made me fall in love with this is the fact that i could butterfly and cut really really thin my chicken because i have some really weird poultry allergy so when i touch raw chicken my hands get really really red so i did a bunch of prep already you see all these right here but i'm going to show you i'm going to take my boneless, skinless breast, pretty thick, right? And now what I'm gonna do is put it down, close this, and you want a knife that's longer than the contraption. We do sell this in a set that comes with one of, one of the knives, but you can use any knife you have, and you are just going to run it all the way across till it hits the back. Now look at this, guys. I have two perfectly cut pieces. It's amazing, I'm obsessed yeah. with this. It is the only way. I will do my chicken, okay? So now, I did all these chicken in really little amount of time, saved a ton of money, great. So this is the first tool I really wanted to show you. Next, let me get this out of here so we don't like cross contaminate and you know, kill my kids. Um, so today I'm going to use my deep covered baker. This can also be made in your rock rock, so whichever one you have, um, you can use it in. Now as you can see, this is the cranberry color. Many of you know this color was discontinued. Now we have this gorgeous gray slate color that literally matches everybody's kitchen. But this is, I have two, so this isn't the one that stays in my house. And then I have the other one that comes with me to shows. I'm just gonna take the lid off. Let's not knock over the tripod. Okay, and I have my simple slicer. This is basically a lot of people call a mandolin. I call it the simple slicer because it simply slices. Now. I just want to show this to you really quick. This is the guard. I highly recommend you using it because let me tell you right now, guys, these things can be very dangerous. So use your guard so you're not slicing a finger off. I don't want pictures of your bloody fingers. All right? So the other thing that's so wonderful about this is this right here. You have settings, a one blade, a two blade, a three blade, and you also have a lock. So now when I put this on lock, look at this. I'm not cutting my finger. But we're going to cut my onions on a two. So how inexpensive is this so far? We have onions. One big onion I'm going to put here. I'm going to rest it. There's a nice little lip right here. I'm going to rest it right across. And look how quick and easy I am slicing my pepper. All even slices. I'm sorry, pepper. This is an onion. Okay, so here we go. Boom. Slice. Done. I'm not crying. That was super easy. I just sliced that all up. Done. Okay? So now... I have peppers. I could totally slice my peppers in that same exact contraption. This I had prepped earlier, another day for another thing. So I'm just going to literally take my peppers and throw them right on top. This is such a quick and easy and healthy meal, guys. All right, now, chicken. This is where people get freaked out, right? 
I'm going to take my raw chicken breast and throw it right on top of my vegetables. That's right, right on top. These pounds are fabulous, by the way. They are safe on your pans. They are wonderful. So now I'm just getting my chicken in here. You're gonna just cover the top with the chicken. My kids are attempting to be quiet, right? All right, so I just covered the top with the chicken and now you're going to want to season it. I love the Southwest seasoning mix from the Pampered Chef. Again, all of our seasonings are gluten-free. Um, this one is great. It's got a bell pepper flavor to it, um, a nice little kick. Not, not kick as in spicy. This is why this is the one that I use with the kids because it's not spicy. And you're just going to season it. So now normally, if I was getting ready to have dinner, I would just put the lid on and I would just stick it right in my microwave. Yes, microwave chicken. Um, it is going to come out delicious. It's going to come out moist and juicy. And if you notice, I did not put oil in this. I did not put water in this. But when I actually do cook it, it will be filled with water and natural juices. That's how moist and delicious this stone is going to actually turn your food into. Is it safe? I get that all the time. I don't like to use the microwave. It's going to come out rubbery. No. The moistest, juiciest chicken you have ever had, literally. When it comes out, I am just going to simply take my, oh, it's not in the drawer because I just used it. Um, my salad choppers and I will chop it all up. Maybe I'll go live again later depending how crazy my afternoon is But I just want to show you how I prep it literally. I'm going to stick it in the microwave um, 15 minutes and I will have a full meal for my family I will go in with the salad choppers and choppy 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 put them on some tortillas a little sour cream a little cheese Yeah, it's coming up. My daughter had to stick her face in here. <laughs> my future fan for chops. Do you love the fajitas? Yes. Is it one of your favorite meals that I make? Maybe Maybe. <laughs> it's my favorite meal on crazy days because you gotta go to gymnastics. They gotta go to martial arts. It's just my afternoon gets nuts. And you have homework to finish. You have home. These are my twins, Christian and Carissa. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. So um, thanks for joining me. Oh, the other thing I want to show you, and this is something you could add just for more flavoring. This is one of my favorite meals. It is? Okay, uh -huh. thank you. <laughs> and I like the leftovers because I'll throw it in a salad. It's super healthy. I, if I'm like watching what I'm eating, um, I won't, you know, actually put the wrap on it. You could just have it plain. It's really, really delicious. So this is one of those super quick and easy meals. Um, I'm not seeing any comments for some reason. I don't know what's going on with Facebook Live, but for some reason I'm not seeing a comment. So if you're saying something, I'm not ignoring. Oh! Thank you, Dana. Oh my God, I saw Dana earlier. We were at a breakfast party and she told me she loved my video. So thank you for joining me. Um, they're so cute. Okay, see now I'm seeing comments. Maybe nobody had anything to say to me. Do you like this angle? Does it make me look fat? Or is the other angle better? Just let me know, I'm just curious. I mean, I just did this because this is where I was prepping my chicken and I just decided to go live. But anyway, okay, so Hey, Kathy. All right, so really quick, I just want to show you one more thing that's one of my favorites. It is the citrus press. This is ceramic. It literally gets every last bit of juice out. So sometimes if I have a lime, I do this. If you don't have a lime, you don't need it. It's not going to make or break it. But look, you're going to put it down where the holes are. Don't put it this way. It's going to squirt you back in the face. Put it down and just simply look. Every little bit of juice is going to come out. And this is just going to give you extra flavor. I'm not even using the whole wine because it's so big and it's so juicy. But now, guys, guess what? I am not ready to cook this now. We have to get ready to go. They have to finish homework. i got to do homework with the kids. So I'm going to take this, let's not break it, and I'm going to put it right in my fridge. Someone's at my door. It's time to go. Thank you for joining me. I'll let you know how um, this turns out later. If you need any more, shh, okay. If you need any more recipes, you can always watch me here. You can search in the search box, or you can. <laughs> Such is my life. Um, or you can go on my website and search in the bar, Deep Covered Baker, um, or any product that you have. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. Bye.